In this video, I am talking about key signature using circle of fit. Key signature tells us the pitch at which the a particular song should be performed or a particular music should be performed. So the key signature is a guide helps us to perform songs according to their respective pitch so you cannot completely talk about key signature without mentioning flats and sharps but before then let me draw our attention to something we already know we have heard about tones and semitones a tone is half two half steps or two semitones so looking at the keyboard it has group of white keys and group of black keys if you look closely at the black keys you will see that it has set of two black keys and set of three black keys so before the two black keys you have a white key and that white key is called the key C so anywhere on the keyboard you see set of two black keys the white key just before the two black keys is known as key C also the set of two black uh, three black keys the white key before the three black keys is known as key F the white key before the three black keys is known as key F why the black key after the three black keys is known as key B so if we are moving using key C from C to D, you cross a black key. And from here to here is a half step. From here to here is another half step or half tone. From here to here is a semitone. From here to here is another semitone. So you can see the distance between C and D is a tone. The distance between C and D is a tone or is a full step. So from here to here, you can say you have a tone. From here to here again, you can say you have another tone. From here to here, the distance between this and this is a half step. It's a semitone. So this becomes a semitone. This to this, you have a tone. This to this, you have a tone. This to this, you have a tone. This to this, you have a semitone. Now you now have tone, tone, semitone. Tone, 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 semitone. I'm sure we have seen that before. I'm just reminding us of what we already know. So if I am moving on key C, I will have my semitone. Tone, this from here to here is a tone. Here to here is a tone. From here to here is a semitone. From here to here is a tone, from here to here is a tone, from here to here is a tone, from here to here is a semitone. So I have tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. I'm sure we understand that. So we will now look at natural key, sharp keys, and flat keys. So the natural key has no flat or sharp so that means there will be no sharp or flat and if I am moving for, from key C the scale of C will move in such a way that you have C D E F A G A D and C C D E F G A D C I did not have anything to do with 
the black keys. In this case, let us choose to call them accidentals. They are either sharps or flats. Accidentals are either sharps or flats. They either lower a key by a semitone or raises a key by a semitone. So the accidentals, either sharp or flat, they can either raise a key by a semitone or lower a key by a semitone. Now, if I am moving from left to right, if I'm moving to the right, what I will be meeting on the accidentals will be sharps because the accidentals will be raising the keys. The white key is the real key. The black key is the accidental. So the white key is this. The black key is the accidental. It can either be raised or lowered. So if I am moving from C to my right, then the blacks, I will choose them to become sharp keys. So this becomes C. Adding a sharp to this now becomes here, which we, we now call it C sharp. This is D. Adding a sharp to this, the note becomes here, which is D sharp. So if I am moving to the left, then this is E. Adding a flat, it takes me to the next available key by the left, which is what? E flat. This is D. Moving to the left becomes D flat. So, looking at the uh, circle of fifth, if you look at the circle of fifth, you will see key C taking the zero position. Let us assume that to look like a clock. We call it in some cases, we call it the musician's clock. Now key C is in the middle from the beginning. It begins, it's, it's like if taking the zero position, which means we are taking our reference from key C. And this is key C. It has no flat or sharp. So key C is a natural key. There is something the circle of fifth, what it is telling us is that we are either moving a fifth or a fourth, depending on how we want to move. So from here, if you want to get a fifth, you count five, five keys, which is the first one now. I count one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the circle of fifth, what it is just telling you is that we are moving in fives. That is what it is saying. We are moving in fives. So, one, two, three, four, five. That is a circle of fifth. And then you move again. One, two, three, four, five. That is another one. So, we are just moving in fives. That is circle of fifth. So, but how did we really come about the, the key signature of having two sharps, three sharps, two flat? five flat and all of that we can get this using the tetrachord method we are aware or we have seen in so many books that key c does not have a flat or a sharp key g which is the first family of sharps has one sharp but most times we begin to ask question how do we come about having key c key key g using one sharp now let us see that using the tetrachord method so i'm going to permit me to explain the tetrachord method to us tetrachord you have from c to c you have how many keys one one two three four five six seven eight it's an eight it's an octave we already know that we know what an eight means octave from here to here is a fifth from here is eight is octave so we we'll, let us break this key from here to here break it into two equal parts 
two if we are breaking this into two equal parts you have one two three four which means from here to here we can call this a tetrachord from here to here we can call it another tetrachord let us name this to be our first tetrachord from here we name this to be our first tetrachord and name this one to be our second tetrachord so from here to here is the first tetrachord that is from c d e f is our first tetrachord from g a b c is our second tetrachord so we are moving a fifth and which means that the next key is going to give us the first key of the second tetrachord. So you now have C, D, E. The rule says that you add a sharp to the last key of the first tetrachord. So you now have C, D, E, F, and you add a sharp to F. Let me write it. First tetrachord you have C, D, E, and F. This is our first tetrachord. Second tetrachord you have G. You have A, you have B, and you have C. So, this is our first tetrachord, this is our second tetrachord. So, if you count C, D, E, F, the rule says you add a sharp to the fourth key on the first tetrachord. So, the next key now becomes what? The first key on the second tetrachord. Remember, we are moving in fives. Fifth. That is for clockwise movement. Moving, the clock is moving to the right. Clockwise movement. And so, we will be moving in fives. And the keys we are going to be getting at this point are going to be sharp keys. So, if I get my key to now be G, I have already discovered that the F, anywhere I see F on G, I should sharpen it. The key of G now becomes G, A, B, C, D, E. Now F has been sharpened then we land on G. Let us check our tones and semitones and see if we were correct. We know we have tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So from G to A, yes, we have a semitone. It's two, step, two half steps. From A to B, it's also two half steps. From B to C, it's a half step. Okay, that is tone, tone, semitone. From F, from C to D, we also have a half step in between, which is a tone. From D to E, we also have another one, another, another tone. Then from E to F, this is a semitone, but we are told to raise F by a semitone so this now becomes a tone so the rule we we are correct we now have tone tone semitone tone 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 and semitone so we are correct the scale now becomes c d e sorry the scale now becomes g a b c D, E, F sharp, and G. So that is for the first sharp. 
I will do another one again for the next one. We will still have to separate this into two tetrachords. So I am moving from G to G. This is G. This is another G. So I will also count like we did the first time. You have from G, now you count. One, two, three, four. And it gives me the first tetrachord. I also count one, two, three, four. And it gives me the second tetrachord. So I have the first and second tetrachord. First tetrachord from C, from G to C. Second tetrachord from G to D. So what do I have to do now? You're already guessing. All I need to do is add a sharp to the fourth key on the first tetrachord. And so, and the first key, the fourth key here now is key C. Adding a sharp to it will give us what? C sharp. But we are moving in fives. So from G, the fifth key there is D. So, and so. If you are moving now, you will now have this as a sharp. So running the scale of D now. We had already established earlier that F is sharpened. We have established that. So which means for as long as we continue moving, F remains sharpened. So now we have added another one, which is C. C is also sharpened. So if I am moving from the key of D, the scale of D will now move in such a way that it has F sharp and C sharp. That is where the two sharps comes in. The two sharp is that every F is sharpened and every C is sharpened. So let us try the scale of D to be sure if we got it correct. So moving from D now, we have D, E, you have a, you have a semitone in between, so this is a tone from here, we have already said this, now we have a semitone in between, so that's between E and F sharp, then a semitone between F sharp and G is a semitone, then from G to A is a sem, you have a tone in between, a to B, you have a tone in between. B to C, but we have agreed to sharpen C. So you have C sharp, which you have a semitone in between. You have a tone in between. And from C sharp to D, you have a semitone. So the scale now becomes D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. You have tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone so it continues like that we can still i will do this one and then it will be the last one if you move from the key of d now we are on d now which is trying to get the next sharp key we are moving in fives circle of fifth we are moving in fives to get our sharp keys so the fifth from d now becomes what key a it becomes key a but at the same time we still need to divide it to get our tetrachords so the tetrachords here now is from where d e f sharp and g forms the first tetrachord on key D. Then A, B, C sharp, and G. And D forms the second tetrachord. A, B, C sharp, and D forms the second tetrachord. So what do you do? You sharpen the, the fourth, which is now G. So G now becomes sharp. So and then you write the key on the first key of the second 
tetrachord. So the next key now becomes key A. So moving now, you have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and D. So you now have three sharps. The sharps now becomes where? The first sharp was F, the second sharp is C, the third sharp is G. So to get your key A now, you have three sharps. If you move on the scale, you will still have the same thing. Tone, 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 semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So we will stop there for the sharps. Maybe when you try it, you will try to the end. We will quickly look at the flats. It continues like that till the end. It continues and the sharps keeps on increasing. So we are moving from left to right and we have explained sharps. Let us quickly explain a little flats, moving the anticlockwise movement. So we will still come back to the zero position, which is key C. No flat, no sharp. So the zero position now, which is key C, I want to move to the left this time around. So if I'm moving to the left this time around, what do I do? I will still count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can see it lands me on key of F. If I move to the right, which is sharps, one, two, three, four, five, lands me on key of G. If I move to the left, one, two, three, four, five, lands me on key of F. Now let us try to get the tetrachord method again. The tetrachord method again. The difference between the first tetrachord of that using the tetrachord of sharps and tetrachord of flats is that in the sharp you are adding a sharp to the fourth key on the first tetrachord. Here you are adding a flat on the first key. Can you see? Okay, let us try it. For key C now. This is C. D. E. F. G, sorry, G, A, B, and C. So, for flats, for flats now, for sharps you were treating the first tetrachord. For flat, you will be treating the second tetrachord instead, instead of the first tetrachord. So, all you need to do is you put a flat on the third key of the second tetrachord. So, we have, this is key C and C, this is, this is it, this is the first tetrachord, first tetrachord, this is the second tetrachord. So, we are treating it this way now, we put 
the flat on the third key of the second tetrachord. So second tetrachord is from G, A, B. So you put a flat on B. You put a flat on B. So your B now becomes a flat. So your key now becomes F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F. So let us try to get the tones and semitones now. From F to G, you have a semitone in between. From G to A, you have a semitone in between. From A to B, we have agreed to call B as B flat. So this becomes a semitone. From B flat to C, you have a, tone, a semitone in between. From C to D, you have a semitone in between. From D to E, you have a semitone in between. From E to F, you have, there's no semitone in between. So you now have from, from key F to F now, we have tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And it lands us on the next one. So, moving again from the next key, which is F now, we have agreed that key F has a flat on B. So, moving now, we will still write out our tetrachords. F, G, A, B flat. For the first tetrachord, we have C, D, E, F. For the second tetrachord. So what do we do? F, G, A, B flat is first tetrachord. We have C, D, E flat and the F. We are supposed to add a flat to the third key on the second tetrachord. So this is our first tetrachord, F, A, F, G, A, B flat. The second tetrachord is C, D, E, F. So we are adding a flat on E, which is the third key on the second tetrachord. And then this becomes what? E, E flat, E flat, E flat. So if you are moving now, the scale now becomes where? And the key now is what? The key now should be B. 